how to respond and revise to students writing in a writing course is important decision and this is what we will discuss in this module response or respond responding or to the first draft is kind of intervention between re revising and drafting and it's not like that the response teacher's response or feedback is delayed to the second or the final draft because if it's delayed to the final one students might realize that there is nothing to be done it has been written so actually students need continuous motivation continuous feedback along with their writing so that actually gives quick reaction to their initial drafts and that will make them think that what they are writing is they are writing with a purpose it has some importance so you might agree with me and you might have seen yourself as writing instructors in in your own teaching context that some teachers don't respond or they delay their response to the final stage and this might cause failure of writing in the students so what we need to realize as language teachers is the importance of responding responding rather i for example from my own personal teaching experience a viewpoint i make it necessary for the students to first to to submit first draft second draft third draft and the final draft and i offer feedback and this feedback is actually counter towards their overall grading or their score in the course so if for instance um feedback is delayed delayed to the extent of final stage the students might take the exercise lightly or they might not take it with interest or their motivation is lost revising responding and revising go hand in hand when you respond students revise and it's a sort of it has to be done on daily basis in the light of the feedback provided by the teacher so feedback actually offers students insights and they that make the students notice the gap between the current performance and the desired performance so apart from grammar covered in the feedback we also need to point out the global content and it has to glo global content is the ideas the structure the organization the middle the conclusion so then we can engage students into peer feedback for example we can make students read their work aloud to other students and they can interact they can collaborate and come up with with their own strategies of planning drafting and revising there is a comprehensive checklist which i would like to give here and which you can use as language teachers to make students see if they are responding and revising their their work properly one of the important elements is the what is the greatest strength of their writing and what is the greatest weakness of their writing students can themselves find out and draft their writing or assignment what's the central idea if the central idea has been explained well described well narrated well or example sufficient examples have been given and which ideas need more clarity or elaboration which are which ideas need more uh, like uh, polishing and where should examples come whether the examples should be given in the middle or at at what stage where the organization is lacking where the structural component is affected or confusing so revision checklist is important so overall 
the main point which I want to make in this module is that responding to students' work is an important element of writing course which helps students see the gap between the current and desired performance.